Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is use the ESPN Crick Info website along with Python to get player statistics, uh, specifically batsmen, and analyze them. So without further ado, let's just get started. First, you would import all these modules, pandas and numpy, pretty standard stuff, matplotlib also. Um, we're going to obviously use web scraping in this because that's how we're going to get the stats from ESP and they don't have a specific API at least not one that I know of and so we need the request library and we're also going to use beautiful soup for web scraping so let me just show you what or how we can search up this stuff so like here if I search up this and this is how I learned everything so essentially you have this query right like whenever you search this is the like as the return URL so what we did is all right this is just a little so this is also kind of how the URL works for each format test ODI and t20 there is a specific number one two three pretty simple um, I just had some assignments based on that and here so as you can see URL this thing right here matches with this so that's how the search works and first we get the whole page right so we get this whole response then we have beautiful soup and here is all like beautiful soup is obviously really powerful so essentially it like you know kind of does its parsing using a HTML parser then inside that beautiful soup essentially first well, the only thing we need is meet inspect code on this and I'll show you what we need. We essentially only need a player ID and the player ID is right there. So honestly, like if you click on this link, the href takes you to that player slash player ID HTML. So once I do that, we'll go to this new link, right? And after this, well, essentially all the stats would be one second I believe it would be you test records think batting innings list and here you go here is like every single innings Virat Kohli ever played international of course so we just want this table right here and as we, we basically tell so here we're actually just stripping the player ID out of all the link uh, from if you remember if we go back and when I inspect code we just want this link I need not even the link we just want the player ID inside that link and once we get the player ID we do another query using this this uh, URL format the only thing we would change is this slash dot HTML this this is where the player ID comes in and there we put the player ID as you can see using F stream and also the format of the game that also matters so that's where this top three lines come in one two three um, yeah once we do that we get the player ID and then here pandas is super powerful um, when you say dot read HTML and give it a link it just automatically reads off all the tables on that page which is amazing and just based on some trial and error I realized I needed the fourth table which is at index three obviously to get all these lists, the li this list of innings right here. So once we get that, all right, let me just run these commands super quick. So I'm just running them, and these are already ran. You can see the head and everything, but just to make sure, once again, and here we can see the first five innings. This is essentially the same as what you see here. Obviously, it looks different and now we can start analyzing this stuff so I didn't do some crazy stuff I just wanted to analyze how the batting average changed and how many hundreds they scored over the course of their you know career be it tests ODIs whatever it is I also needed to do some basically some pre-processing here because um, I can't find an edge case here but if the batsman is not out it basically has the star and it, it's it's kind of messed up this runs column it's not really a number it's like a string so I had another cleaner version of runs which is all numbers and during this analysis obviously batting average 
there's a bunch of edge cases division by zero you know all this is like you know anyone can do it. it's just trial and error it's going to take time obviously but uh, definitely not a hard thing to do and we also you know as i said we also kept track of the hundreds and once we're done with all the data then we added these columns into our original data frame these two lines right here and yeah i'll link i'll link all this i'll link this jupyter notebook so you, you'll have enough time to just look over every single detail and obviously using matplotlib the plot as we can see in recent years obviously Cody's average has taken a dip and which is clearly visible and hundreds too um, hundreds an analyzing hundreds is kind of different I guess we can go off based on the slope of the line right so if the slope is very steep that means he's in really good touch right because he's not taking a lot of innings to score those hundreds and obviously we have a big big flat line which is definitely not good <laughs> but yeah again once again we can see the form based on these you know indicators so yeah that's the main gist of the project and what I also did is I just the same code I put it in a method so this time I don't have to, I can just call the method every time I want a player so Steve Smith and Marlos Labuschagne if I want to compare them you know, another plot and as yes, you can see the blue is Steve Smith's um, batting average over time and Labuschagne obviously younger player but he's definitely you know I mean compared to Smith he's doing way better at, at the early early end of his career but as of right now Smith is still leading and yeah so you can do a lot of stuff with it um, like you can see the, yeah, you have all these columns and based on what I said I'm pretty sure we can also do obviously we can do ODS and T20s that's just a different format but I'm pretty sure we can also do bowling records you just have to figure out these you know um, how the URL is encoded and go back and while we were web scraping in these early stages you know just make sure we get the right encodings and everything and that would make sure it works but yeah it's just a little side project I did you know just for fun to see how things go and I might do a part two with a little bit of ML not sure depending on if I have time just I don't know maybe a predictor of total career runs based on I don't know first hundred innings I don't know we can do a lot of things using ML obviously but yeah for now this is all I wanted to do I just wanted to do some data pre-processing and so add some new columns just some visualization and whatnot and as I said I'll link this so that you guys can definitely build up upon it and yeah I feel like this is super powerful beautiful soup and pandas obviously as I mentioned earlier so you guys should definitely you know further explore for sure because I just did batsmen so far you can probably do bowlers you can do a lot more uh, statistics and whatnot so yeah thank you for watching and just let me know if you guys have any questions either regarding this or in general thank you